Hi, welcome to LA Interview. My name is Joseph Armillas. This week's guest is Mickey Jones, a multifaceted, talented artist whose career in the entertainment industry has taken him from nightclubs to theater to television, film, to the music world, and now writing books. Mickey's latest book is titled Cat Tales, The Real Pussy, a wonderful collection of four short stories based on his experiences with felines. Anybody who loves cats, or animals for that matter, would love reading this book. His latest accomplishment is in the area of music, singing, and songwriting. I've had the honor of co-writing, producing, and directing a music video for him titled Sail a Bit Nation, based on a poem that he wrote by the same name. We'll be playing that video in its entirety later on in the show. So don't go away. We'll be right back with Mickey Joe. <laughs> Welcome to LA Interview, Mickey. How Thank you for you? having me here, my brother. You got it. You got Thank it. It's you. wonderful having you here. Um, I'm looking at your resume here. List a very long, impressive list of films, television, theater, nightclub shows. You've worked as a humorist. Uh, you were a boxer for a time. Uh, you've written books other than Cat Tales. Mm -hmm. And you now train men, women, and children in boxing at the Hollywood, Hollywood YMCA. YMCA. <laughs> You've been doing that for now 15 years, right? So Quite a some time. Uh, I really started about 1981. 1981, mm -hmm. wow. And you also kind of hold an informal sort of ministry, counseling uh, teenagers yes. and even adults. It's just who I am, and I, and I believe that's what the Spirit is all about, and it speaks through us. I don't want to be a, quote, preacher, I'm never going to be a theologist, right. but I'm a, I study the scriptures and I believe God, I'm a believer of God in Christ and I believe it's that's part of my mission. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I know because I, I, I witnessed all these uh, children and teenagers and uh, adults coming over and uh, when, <laughs> when we first met, we met, we met at the lobby of the Hollywood YMCA mm -hmm. and we, here we're sitting and we're talking to each other, getting to know each other. And all these kids are coming by, Mickey, how are you? No, I love your kids. And, you know, the fathers, the mothers, uh, the teenagers, everybody. And I'm going like, who is this guy? I mean, what, does he own the building? Or is this is some kind of secret society? They have to pay homage to this guy? <laughs> like The real pope. The real pope, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, I, I don't know, I better check this guy out. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's who this man is. I mean, you know, you can't help but fall in love with this guy. And you're so sweet and you're so giving and you, you offer of yourself to everybody. And, and that's who you are, man. You, you're that's, just, it, it's, it's, I came out my mom old woman like that, you know. So. Yeah, well, mm. that's good. That's a good mm, deal. Mm, mm. Now, let's talk about cattails. Okay. Uh, what was the inspiration uh, for the book? Literally, the cats. Uh, First of all, I used to tell these stories about these cats. I never intend to write cat tales. Uh, in fact, uh, it was the furthest thing away from my mind. But I love telling the stories. And people would listen and they would go, man, you're really into cats, aren't you? I said, not really. <laughs> and they said, well, either you're into cats, cats, but something about you and these cats, you should write that. And I kept hearing enough. So one day I just said, you know what? I keep hearing it, and that's to me is how the Spirit speaks to you. I, I keep hearing that. Evidently, I'm supposed to write this. Right. So I did. Oh, well, and, mm -hmm. and I'm, we're all so happy you did. I have a copy of the book here, Cat Tales. And would you read a couple of passages uh, mm -hmm. from the book? I know you need your glasses. Yes, you know that. <laughs> I was cool until Ray Charles got in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 this is Raymond Charles. Oh, what I say. <laughs> Tell me what I say. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I didn't see, I saw the girl with the red dress on. I felt the girl with the red dress on. Oh, leave me. <laughs> but my, I said, all the cats I love, but if I had to pick a cat, somebody say, who is your favorite cat? Cool cat would be the cool one. Cool cat, okay. Let's and, go with um, cool cat. <laughs> the cool cat. That's what I call this very sophisticated, self-assured lady. Very cool was this cat. Yeah, cool cat was a lady, 
a classy, sassy, confident, midnight black beauty. Oh, her hair was silky smooth, shiny, and so black. She was a black beauty and she knew it, just a matter of fact, not bragging. <laughs> It was through her intelligence and knowing of this that gave her an insight into her spirit and purpose in life. Cool Cat knew who she was, a cool customer. A real cool cat, an authority figure priority to life just the way God designed it. God is not, uh, doesn't play favorites. God is about order, not rank and foul, have and have not, and whether man or woman is superior. Cool Cat knew better. She was into the natural laws. Cool Cat lived by the natural laws of God. She instinctively knew them. She had a special care that loved everyone equally. And Cool Cat was born with this intuition. Cool Cat was a lot like my mother. <laughs> if Cool Cat could have been a human, she would have been the fifth element, the missing link, the perfect woman. Ah, that's a revelation. The universal problem that there are very few perfect women, which would distort motherhood. The fall from grace, and that left men needed to drink or take the fifth and then freak out in Central Park. But Cool Cat, ah, like my mother, was the fifth element. Perhaps that's why I took it into my confidence. She was perfect. Like my wife, Cool Cat was a blessing. These are the natural laws of God's love. I call it all joy. Oh my God, that is so good. In the way you read it, bro, it just <laughs> makes me want to read the book all over again. Uh, I've read the book several times, you know, and every time uh, I read it, I find something new that I didn't catch the first. Even though it's a, it's a you know, short book, but. You know, our friend uh, Pasquale. Yeah. When he got the book, he said something that I had never heard before. He says, Mickey, this little book is an encyclopedia. Mm hmm. It's yeah, chunk for the nuts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is a great book, mm -hmm. and and we're we're shooting this here in uh, uh, September, mm -hmm. and the holidays are coming up. So, buy this book for yourself, your friends and family. You're gonna love it. It's a great little book. It's a short read. You can read this in two hours, maybe three. And uh, and you brought us a promo video from Ex Libris uh, for the book. For the book, we're mm -hmm. we're gonna play it on right now. Cat Tales. It's available on uh, exlibris.com. That's the publishing Those company. Candy. You can also get it at amazon.com and you can also get it at barnesandnoble.com. And, and uh, at, later on in the show, we're going to talk about uh, your website and mine. And we're going to offer the book okay. uh, and a video that we are going to talk about next. And uh, so, anyway, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That was great. Um, now, I want to talk about uh, Sail a Bit Nation. Sail a Bit Nation. Sail a Bit Nation. Uh, it's based on a poem by the same name that you wrote. Mm -hmm. uh, you and I co-wrote the music. Yes. And I'm tooting my own horn here a little bit. I do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> I got to toot my horn, man. Bravo, bravo. I, I, I produced and directed the video for you. And I had a little cameo part of yes, that, which will come out later. And I'm so proud and uh, honored to, to have uh, done this for you. And it was, you know, Mickey and I, our relationship started as, you know, artist and hard producer. And in the process of, you know, working together and coming up and creating things, you know, a friendship developed. 
which is now a creative partnership as and well. And a brotherhood. And a brotherhood. Yeah. And uh, as I said before, you know, you can't meet Mickey and not love him. And I'm so glad that we're buddies now. Yeah. And uh, he, well, here it is, Sail a Bid Nation. They wore the wrong colors, driving back with your eight ball mad dog fun, not stopping the thing, not stopping the thing about the mothers and the fathers of the daughters and the sons that you put in the ground with a gun. Crack, crack, crack. That's why, that's why I'm saving the children and making a stand. That's why, that's why I'm leading the people to the promised land. That's why, that's why I'm uplifting the country and making it grand. It's a celibate nation. It's a celibate nation. It's a celibate nation. Crack, crack, crack. Don't you realize that it's all a plot? You sell dope to your brother? Take away the pride and dignity from the human race. Wiping the smiles off the little kid's face. You don't have the brains, brains, brains. No SAT, no GED to produce a drug. So why would you go sell your brother some? Don't please him with no one to look up to. Cause I'll be up to line in a gutter. Drop, 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 drop. Out of school. That's why, that's why. I'm saving the children and making a stand. I'm leading the people to the promised land. That's why, that's why I'm uplifting the country and making it grand. It's a celibate nation. It's a celibate nation. It's a celibate nation. Grow up thinking dope, you're the one that's cool But the real truth is dope, you're the biggest fool You're vain, you're cruel, you make me sick God knows you can't win, but you're too weak to quit You think life's a game, what a crying shame Messing up people's life, but you won't take the blame Put the blame on Maine, boy Put the blame on your mama Leroy Put the blame on your all day, through the week, weekend Saturday night, boogie, boogie, fever the children and making a stand. That's why, that's why, I'm leading the people to the promised land. That's why, that's why, I'm uplifting the country and making it grand. It's a celibate nation, it's a celibate nation, it's a celibate nation. Walls, pissing in the hall. So you got invited to Clinton's all sucking money, cause Lewinsky's adults is in Augaroll Ball. You're still a damn thug, selling your drugs, frying your brains and fantasize a lot about the evil genocide. Killing other have nots, doing who you can every chance you get. You think you a man, but you just ain't it. If you can't slow down, yo, chill, kick back, just be cool. This celebrity nation's gonna jump. Jump, jump on you like the boogeyman. Jump, jump, jump on you like the Ku Klux Klan. Jump, jump, jump on you like Charlie Chan. Jump, jump, jump on you like Peter Pan. Don't man. That's why, that's why I'm saving the children and making a stand. That's why, that's why. I'm leading the people to the promised land. That's why, that's why I'm uplifting the country and making it grand. It's a celibate nation. It's a celibate nation. It's a celibate nation. Celibate, 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 all oh, y'all. Celibate. Celibate, celibate. Celibate. 
What good does it do to gain the world and lose your soul? Wow, that was so much fun shooting that video, wasn't it? Oh, I love it. Oh, and we shot the whole thing in one day, by the way. Hello. Yep, yeah. We had some problems. There was a car accident and all kinds of crazy things, but uh, it all came out so good, right? I thought it did. Yeah, but you're the master. You're yeah, the yeah, yeah. But you, you did a wonderful job. What a performer. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And you know, uh, all the extras we hired, those guys were really sweet and oh. friendly. I mean, a lot of these guys, they look really tough and dangerous. And but some of them were former gamers. They said it. They said they found out they can make a living being themselves being themselves. without doing being a criminal. Right. So, you know. It's a great experience, and uh, you know we had uh, Barbara Marquet as a, a PA assistant and uh, Stacy Rasfeld, and also we had uh, Julio Cheveria from uh, Goodyear Golden LLC who helped us out a lot on That's that great. on that thing, and not to, not to forget uh, Malcolm Bennett from International Realty Investments and Consondra Baptiste. Mm. We also have to thank. Uh, Lori Franks, Franks, who introduced uh, us in a very interesting way. We don't have time yeah, to go over that right, right now. Uh, and Benito Garcia, who was also responsible for us uh, getting to know each other, uh, right? The people that put helped get this together are amazing. Right, and that's that's a story for another interview show, that's right? That's right. That's right. And not to forget Roy Oldenkamp, Roy Oldenkamp, who right. also helped us organize a thing with the. Uh, uh, Crescent Heights Presbyterian, not, I'm sorry, not Presbyterian, Crescent Heights Methodist Church, mm -hmm. where we shot uh, a lot of the footage. So, so now that we're talking about the, the video, uh, what was the inspiration, what the central core idea for uh, Celibate Nation? It's still back to humanities and the children are the foundation. As scripture says, they guard the gates of heaven. And if they do and they're tampered with, they may let the gates of hell come through. I mean, if you sit speaking meta metaphorically, but uh, we all start out as children, and it's something that's written on us, and it can affect us the rest of our life. A lot of people don't like this. I always use Hitler as an example. Who was he as a child? What made him turn? I mean, he was going to be somebody, evidently, but was he going to be this person? And the childhood and the environment he lived in has something to do with that. Right. And a lot of people don't like to, to think that's it, but it does. No, of course it can it affect does. us. Right. And okay, now how did your informal ministry come about at 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 the YMCA? I mean, it really came. Well, it's it's it's, I, it's funny. I was walking past the Y when I first got out of here in Hollywood. I was still in great shape, and I was really torn between boxing professionally and it's in late it's late stage. But I was in gyms with major I, league fighters. I mean. Uh, uh, World-rated fighters, and I was hanging with them, and some of them I was taking, you know, putting it on them, as they say. This is in 1981. This, this is 1981. Wow. And I, in fact, I took my only pro fight of my life at 40 years old at the forum. Wow. And uh, uh, but <laughs> that's amazing. I was walking past the Y, and the voice, and I, Scott, said, "Look," and I looked up YMC, and I said, "Look what?" And it didn't answer me. I said, "No, you, you mean look in there." So I go in there, and there's a little kid running through <laughs> the lobby. His mother's going, Joey, Joey, come back. And as he ran past me, I grabbed him, and I picked him up. I said, who is that calling you? He says, my mama. I said, your mama called you stop on a dime. And <laughs> at that moment, I said, I'm supposed to be in here. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, man, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's wonderful. Well, Mickey, it was really, really wonderful having you here. You're, you're, Thank you so you're a much. great person to hang out with. I know we're friends and, and buddies oh. as well. God uh, bless you, and I know we're going to have you back on the show. Please do more than once. <laughs> uh, 
you and I have some projects that we're working on uh, that we might be doing in the future. Mm -hmm. One of them is uh, uh, Ghetto Priest, uh, Ghetto Priest mm -hmm. which is something that I would love to turn mm -hmm. into a movie. You're also working on a book. Uh, I was dealing with my wife with Alzheimer's, living with Al. Living with Al, which, and, oh, that's uh, a great subject. And, uh, uh, and so um, uh, I always take, instead of calling it Alzheimer's, I've made Al, uh, you know, he's home in Bates, he invaded my wife, so we live with him, and so I just talk about him. So right. Living with Al. Living with Al. Oh, mm -hmm. man, I, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. But and, I, and, you know, I just want to say, Mickey, goes to see his wife five times a week five times a week mm -hmm. every week five times a week and boy that you know that just and it's a learning experience she's teaching me so much like i said uh, she put a spin on freedom that was so profound one day i was leaving and she said i want to be free too wow and i got it Mm. Free to come and go, free to just, but we take things we take for granted, brush your own teeth, wash your own butt. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, little yeah. things like that. Little things like that. That means so much. That means when, so when, much. When they're taken away. Yeah, right. Because it's, it's all personalized. But you know, I, it, and, uh, I, we've discussed this before. In, in many ways, she knows, her spirit knows that you are there for her. Oh, and, and she's always trying, she always, and she lifts me up. Right. I mean, she does, and she uh, lifts you up. What 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 a great what a great lesson mm -hmm. for people to realize that even if someone that you love is incapable of uh, expressing that love to you and verbally, there's so many other ways that that person. can. But she really does, and she does say that she'll say, "I love you." She calls me you. She very seldom calls me Mickey. She says, "It's you," and I know she means it's me. Right. And she says, "I love you." Wow. And uh, uh, I, 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 when we had our, our, our anniversary, and she didn't know it was her anniversary, and she says, am I married? I said, yes, you are. She said, who did I marry? I said, you married me. She said, well, I don't know much about that. She said, but I know one thing. I love you. Wow. I said, how interesting. The person you love is the person you marry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, living without, boy, living that's, without. that's 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 beautiful. Yeah. We're gonna do something with that. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you so much. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. If you would like to buy Mickey's book, you can get it at his website www.mick-e-jones.com or my website www.rmrentertainmentfilms.com You can also get it at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com and xlibris.com Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week on LA Interview.